Having a data card on your rifle is one of those little things that I have found really helpful in shooting my most recent match. Now in the past I have done everything from just simply taping and writing on with a marker on my sleeve, you know just putting some masking tape down and writing my corrections which is simple and it worked. I've also used the quarterback play card things uh, from you know like sporting goods stores and they also worked and they are simple and they work really well so there's no debating if you have something that works for you rock it and there's other solutions uh, but you know maybe if you're throwing on and off a jacket or something like that maybe the sleeve you know might not be the best option one of the things that i've seen a lot of shooters use is a data card on their rifle and a lot of the you know solutions out there have you know like a mount that goes around your scope or a flipping device that goes on the rifle or the base somehow and those are all cool but they range in price anywhere from just a few dollars to a simple like diy mod and i'm actually going to post a link to a do-it-yourself mod that john mcquay from 8541 tactical did i'll post a link up there and i like john he's a super good guy great precision rifle shooter has a lot of wealth uh, knowledge of precision rifle so if you like his content make sure you give him a thumbs up and subscribe super good guy met him at TriggerCon. Uh, really like watching his stuff i learn a lot from his stuff as well so that's a good tip otherwise i did come across this little product from 605 precision that's what we're going to be talking about today my name is dave tim from guns and tactics thank you guys very much for spending a few minutes of your day with me learning about my journey into precision rifle precision rimfire and data card holders if you like the video go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you like the content please consider sharing and subscribing so data cards what is a data card well a lot of times you'll be shooting stages with different targets or targets at different distances and you need to know okay that target is four mil correction that target is a 5.2 mil correction that target is a 13 mil correction and that target is a you know 17 mil correction like for rim fire we're dialing a lot or having to hold a lot in center fire matches you know the corrections aren't as much but you still have different targets and you might need to know that target correction that target correction that target correction so you're writing the dope or correction on your sleeve on your data card whatever and dope for those of you guys that don't know is data of previous engagement basically data of your previous shooting engagement so you know that 300 yards is this correction or what have you now what i liked about having the data on the rifle is that as i you know move in and out of positions or whatever it might be it's just right there and as you guys can see it's just a quick you know nice view your head is going to be back here you can still see your parallax you can still see your elevation uh, windage is obviously on the other side but i like having the data card up front here kind of out of the way yes the gun is unloaded for all of the internet range safety officers out there you can tell by the chamber flag which is from cromulet designs i will be doing a video on these coming up in the future now uh the data card though this little data card holder which we'll get into detail is from 605 precision it's made out of flexible filament and what it was originally designed to do was mount on your scope base on the picatinny rail and then it would go either here or if you mounted it you know back here now here's the thing on this particular scope i have enough clearance the rings are high enough the previous scope i was running on this rifle i didn't have enough clearance here to actually mount the data card where it was supposed to go so i w wasn't using it even though i wanted to i've actually bought these several months ago so what i came up with on the ridge back get you close up of this is that it has these m-lock slots and i quite frankly i didn't know what i was going to be doing with the m-lock slots i'm not going to be adding weights i'm not going to be adding a light but i added a small pick rail from arasaka which love arasaka by the way and then that little pick rail allowed me to add the data card holder just like that now the data card holder get you a close-up of this is just a flexible 3d printed simple design and again i got this from 605 precision i'll post links down in the description below these are a few dollars you can contact him for current pricing and availability but again it just has a nice flexible rubber uh, filament i don't know a ton about 3d printing and then it has this little groove here that your card goes in so it, it's a super simple design and again what i like 
is that it just mounts right to that Picatinny rail and then you can put your card in like so. And I had no issues. It never fell off during the match uh, when I was shooting or anything like that. One time when I was carrying my rifle, it did get knocked off, but it wasn't the end of the world. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, what if your rifle doesn't have M-Lock? And that is something I thought about. Not necessarily uh, with my new rifle, although I'll give you guys a sneak peek. I just got this put back together after coating. And this does happen to have M-Lock, which is great. Uh, just a happy coincidence. So I'll probably end up putting a small piece of rail there so I can put a data card. But the feedback that I'm gonna give George Sill from 605 is to maybe come out with another version that instead of having the Picatinny would just be a flat flush surface. So you'd have still the flexible little you know holders or the teeth if you will, but then instead of having a pick rail section, it would just be a large flat section. And then what you could do is just Velcro, you know, put a piece of Velcro here, and then you could Velcro the data card holder wherever you wanted it on your stock or chassis if you don't have M-Lock slots. So I thought that would be some cool feedback. And I know a couple people who run like Tikas and stuff like that that don't have M-Lock slots, that would be a cool way for them to use something like this. And I like having that data card forward and out of the way again, I can access all my scope stuff. That is the holder. And now let's talk about the data card tips. These are just plastic blank ID cards, a typical like a work badge or a membership, you know, card or whatever. They have hard card printers. Well, they make these blanks. It's just a piece of plastic. You can buy a big sheet of it at a hobby or craft store. Otherwise you can get these uh, pre, you know, cut sized. If you know anybody in the IT industry or anything like that, or if you have an old library card or something, you can use the back of it. First things first, what I like to use is just a, a dry erase marker. So with the dry erase marker, I can just write, you know, whatever it is. Right on the card. No problem. And then as I'm done, I just wipe it off. So I just, I kept a dry erase marker in my pocket or in my bag, easy. Now, when it was raining, I would be considerate of that. Now you could use a Sharpie and then an alcohol wipe uh, to you know wipe off the Sharpie. But I don't know if you guys can see it on mine. You can still see a little bit of the numbers uh, because the Sharpie did leave a little bit of a ghost or a little bit of a trace even after wiping it off with the alcohol wipe, but it does work. Uh, and the Sharpie is waterproof. Alcohol will take it off so you can you know, see your predominant markings. Otherwise, what I saw other shooters doing, which I really liked, was just keeping uh, some painter's tape. So what I'm gonna start to do is I just found this little plastic tube and I wound some painter's tape on it. So this is nice and small and compact. I can keep this in my range bag, coat pocket, whatever. Take your card, take a small piece of painter's tape. Now you can take your Sharpie, and write your corrections right on there. Waterproof, when it's done, you simply, you know, just take the tape off or you can just tape right over it. Super simple. Uh, additionally, you can just use business cards. You just write on back of business cards with a sharp. I like simple, I like effective, and if it's simple and effective and inexpensive and it works, then I call that a win. I do really like these data card holders from 605 Precision. Again, there'll be information below. There are other data card holder and options as well online. If you just search for data card holder or rifle data card holder, you can find something that maybe you like better. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, if you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. Check us out online. If you have any questions, firearms related, precision rifle related, whatever, go ahead and sound off. Send us an email to the email address shown below, the qagunsandtactics.com, to get your question entered in our end of the month QA episode. Thank you guys very much for watching, and have a great day. We work really hard to make content that we hope you as a shooter would enjoy. Subscribe to our channel, check out our featured videos and playlists, and if you have a question firearms related, go ahead and send an email to the address shown on the screen to be entered into our monthly QA series.